Stand by. All right, first steps were to inlet the trigger assembly. Uh, I've got this inletting uh, compound that I've rubbed on this uh, trigger assembly and all the areas that I think needs it uh, basically fully covered. Uh, we're going to go ahead and drop it into place, give it a couple taps and see how we're looking. I've already done a little bit of work um, in here, not a whole lot, but I've done a little bit to kind of clean it up because it was uh, teetering. Alright, looking pretty good. It's got some coverage going on in here, so I think um, we're going to try to put these screws in and see what it looks like. Um, it's touching in all the right areas and it's not teetering anymore, so I think I might be good. Well, let's go ahead and do the install. Screw it in place. By right, doing the trigger guard um, fitting, uh, I've already done the preliminary blast cleanup. This was done on week uh, four, I think. Um, so it, everything fits in there pretty decent. Um, I just have to finish getting this inletted. So uh, up here in the front of the trigger guard, it fits in perfectly. Uh, the back side is having some issue. I've taken and I've uh, already... Uh, Prelim, prelim the brass up so I don't really need to do a whole lot more. I might just just a little bit. I've traced around this. Um, from this point, I'll go ahead and I'll shape the brass to make it a little bit more smooth and a little bit more squared up. Um, and then I'll use the inletting tool to inlet the rest. So everything else should fit in there after that. Looks like we got it fitted in there pretty good. Time to mark it and drill it. Okay, perfect. No interference. All right, we're going to work on this stock now, the rear end of the stock. Um, uh, we're going to use a rasp to get the major work taken care of. And then as we get a little closer to brass, we'll end up switching over to some uh, files. Um, I do have some wood overhang here that you can see uh, come in both directions. Uh, 
coming in from the rear as well. So we'll be having to remove uh, this excess. When we get down to the bottom, we have the opposite effect, and we have a lot of bit of um, uh, brass that needs to be worked on. So we're going to go through, do this wood first. Um, after wood has been uh, taken care of for the most part, we'll go through and transition to do some brass work, and then finish up this toe plate. Uh, and then we'll be to the point um, where we need to for this week. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to take a little pause and apply some tape to the back of this. Uh, so we don't have any um, more scarring than we need to. Um, it's fairly clean cut right now, and I want to keep it that way. So we're going to do some um, protecting here on the rear of this. Protect it up a little bit. So this week, uh, project complete. Um, no real major issues. Just a lot of it's a lot of work, uh, especially utilizing hand tools, rasps, and files. Um, it's, uh, it takes a long time. So um, everything turned out pretty good. Uh, as you can see, I've knocked off um, that big corner that was uh, up about a quarter inch or so. Um, I didn't take uh, this portion of the stock out to blend it out. Um, I left it there because it seems like it's a good cheek, um, it's a good height uh, since we can't really modify this, this it's not adjustable comb, um, doing, leaving as much wood as we can and then adjusting as we need to later on is, uh, might be uh, beneficial. So I'm going to leave this little hump here, it's actually a good looking down the site so far. So, um, But you can see back ends uh, looking good, uh, both sides. I've, I've, I rasped it initially and then took a file and uh, filed and, uh, this off this metal. None of it's polished at this point. Um, uh, I flattened out this bottom side of the uh, butt plate and toe plate. Uh, this is about as good as it's going to get uh, without actually going through and sanding, which is next week. So um, I also did this underside here, which you can see it's uh, very flush and nice fitting to include this lock. Uh, not a whole lot of work was done in here, 
I'll do this mostly with sandpaper because it's already pretty close so I'll remove this lock and finish that out uh, in the sanding portion and then a barrel of the tang that comes down in the back end here there's just a little bit left and I didn't want to mess with it right now so um, this week is uh, finished up uh, stay tuned for next week be safe and we'll see you next time Bye.